Excuse me, but I must burden you with some foul information. I wouldn't want you to feel awkward or have any egrets. So today's show is on birds and pigs. Try not to let it fly over your head because I just winged it. Have <laughs> birds. Aloha and welcome. Today we continue our journey with the month of Tiki and today we're going to do the jungle bird. Now last week we did the zombie and if you missed it at the end of this episode please go check it out. It's awesome. It's so much fun. Fascinating stuff. So the jungle bird. Very popular cocktail. Right now it is one of the top sellers in the bar even with all this crazy pandemic stuff going on. It is by far one of the best drinks I've ever had. And I'm not kidding, I'm not exaggerating in the slightest. It is a beautifully balanced cocktail as far as flavor goes. It is nicely sour, nicely bitter, and nicely sweet all at the same time. It's just got these wonderful layers of flavor and they just come together so nice. Uh, and of course it's got that bright, beautiful red color that just pops at you, you know, and it's got that foam on top. And it's just so beautiful, you you know, you wanna take pictures and you wanna post them all over your social media and you wanna make all your friends and family jealous, it's the best. So I think it's time that we learn how to make one, a proper one. This recipe comes from Intoxica by, by Beach Bum Berry. Uh, shout out to Jeff the Beach Bum Berry. It is, uh, it's the way I've been making it ever since the way I learned how to make it. And it is my favorite way to make it. Now, before we begin our history lesson, a quick shout out to Miss Kim Chung. Miss Kim Chung is the editor and chief and boss lady of thirstmag.com. She actually resides in Malaysia Lumpur, where the aviary bar is. And the aviary bar is actually where the jungle bird was invented at the aviary bar in Malaysia Lumpur Hilton because of Miss Chung, who a couple of years ago went out and pulled a beach bum berry of her own and did some research, found out a bunch of stuff, tracked down bartenders that were retired, and she got some updated information on the whole subject. Since 1989, the Jungle Bird was thought to have been invented in 78. The truth is it was invented in 73. Now the creator of the Jungle Bird is Mr. Jeffrey Ong, O-N-G Ong. He was the beverage director of the aviary bar in July 6th of 1973 when it opened. It was a high class, um, beautiful hotel that was meant for celebrities and high paying guests and tourists. And yeah, so the bar program, the food, the culinary program, everything was top notch. And that's why we have such a visually striking cocktail that was welcoming guests when they first arrived. They would get there and be greeted with trays of this beautiful cocktail with this really cool garnish of a pineapple wedge with the, with the, the fronds kind of sticking in the back like, like feathers and a little cherry. Um, and of course today we serve them in hurricanes and in other cool glasses to uh, make it fun. Uh, I encourage you to make it your own. The most important thing is you make the cocktail right though, okay? so. <laughs> So let's begin with our mise en place, shall we? We have our fresh lime juice. We have our simple syrup. We have our fresh squeezed pineapple juice, underlined fresh squeezed, no concentrate. Concentrate bad, remember that. We have our Campari, and we have our dark rum. So let's begin pouring these wonderful, wonderful ingredients and make our cocktail. So, half an ounce, half an ounce of fresh lime juice. We're gonna do half an ounce of simple syrup. Four ounces of pineapple juice. We are going to do one and a half ounces of dark rum. Next we are gonna do 0.75 or three quarter ounces of Campari. So, get some regular ice, put it in there with your drink, fill your hurricane glass with crushed ice, and give it a good shake. And I mean, a good shake. If you want this thing to frost up, 
This is how the foam is made. Good, vigorous, hard shake. Alright, now. <clears throat> go ahead and strain that lovely thing nice and slowly. Over that fresh crushed ice. There we go. And even if it makes a little mess, eh, no one's looking. So we just want to put the pineapple frond right here. Go ahead and give it a little height. And maybe a nice little edible flower. Something pretty. Just to get a little more pop out of it. As long as it's edible. So, we are going to make pulled Kahlua pork. And then we're going to make sandwiches. So first, before we begin, mise en place. We have our four pounds of pork shoulder, bone in. We have, uh, we have our brown sugar, we have sea salt. Now traditionally you want to use Hawaiian sea salt. I couldn't get my hands on it in time, so we're just using regular sea salt. Sorry. Then we have uh, two types of paprika. We have smoked and regular. Uh, we're gonna have some garlic powder, some uh, some uh, I'm sorry, some mustard powder, some ground coriander seed, some oregano, uh, some ancho chili, and some pepa. Oh, and I don't know if I said brown sugar. Um, so you'll see the amounts and all those things on the screen because my magical producer is awesome. And yeah, so from here we're gonna go into like dub over mode, and we're gonna put it all together. First thing is we're gonna have to trim the fat on this thing. You wanna trim all that excess fat because it's not gonna help. And we're gonna use a sous vide method for this. So just follow along step by step. This is kind of a lengthy, uh, kind of a set it and forget it to a certain point uh, recipe. But yes, this does take about a day to make. So if you're gonna make this, plan a day ahead, okay? So here we go. So let's begin by trimming the pork where it's gonna trim off all that excess fat as best we can, take your sharpest knife. Next, we're gonna take our spices. We have everything that we named off earlier. We're gonna mix up really well until it's all nicely even, no lumps. And then go ahead and give that piggy a nice little massage, a little spice rub. Get it? Spice rub. Because <laughs> you know you're rubbing the pork in. Anyway, so yeah, get it in all the little crevices and everything. Then, on into a hot pan. Sear both sides. Take it off the pan and put it on a cutting board. The next thing you want to do is you're going to want to put it into a bag. Get ready for an air vacuum seal bag. And you're going to take one cup of pineapple juice and about six dashes, maybe seven dashes of li uh, liquid smoke. And just go ahead and pour it on in the bag with the pork. Next, go ahead and vacuum seal, just like this. And you're going to put it into a bath, your sous vide bath, and set the temp to 174. You're going to leave it in for 18 hours. Make sure to check on it to add water as it evaporates. Okay, so now it's been 18 hours. Go ahead and drain it. You can save the juice on the side and put it in your sauce. Uh, you also can add little bits at a time to your shredded pork so it's nice and juicy. Any bone should just slide right on out like that. Take two forks and start to shred that bad boy. It should be nice and easy, moist and delicious fork tender. I mean, this stuff should just fall apart. So that's what it should look like. Next, you want to start making your sauce, or whatever type of sauce you like. Toss it in your sauce and serve them on Hawaiian sweet rolls. That's it. Enjoy! If you want to know what sauce I use, go to my Patreon. <laughs> See you later.